week we're on Jersey hunting for a fabulous family home for Nick and Katrina and we've got quite a selection. But when we move from the fabulous like to the absolutely outrageous. It's not only our house hunters that are confused. It's a Pandora's box we've opened. This is what they asked us to find. We've shown them something. Maybe we should never have shown them that other And it's a lovely house, there's no denying. But it's not what they actually set out to find. Tonight, we've got a canny property duo. Nick and Katrina want to make a solid investment in their future. They've decided to make long-term plans and buying a family home here on Jersey, Nick's island home, is the first step. Because he works in the island's construction industry, Nick's got his professional ear to the ground. And he's heard that with the planned relaxation of Jersey's housing restrictions, there'll be hundreds of affordable new flats going up. So he and his girlfriend Katrina have sold up and cashed in. I've been really impressed by these two. They've read the local market brilliantly. They've worked out that this is a great time to be selling Nick's flat. They could have waited a couple more years, saved up a bit more cash, but they understand there's a lot more flats being built at the moment, which means greater competition in the future. Now, timing is everything in the property market, and of course, choosing the right time to sell is key to making the most out of any investment. But there's another motive behind Katrina and Nick selling up. In time, they want a family, and his flat is tiny. I bought this when I was single. Um, <laughs> I didn't have any <laughs> intentions of, <laughs> of meeting anyone like at that time, anyway. It was a bachelor pad. It was, you know, absolutely fantastic. I you know, loved it. So. Just not enough room for the girlfriend. And that's the problem. Small space is a big issue. It's a lovely place. It is it's a lovely place. just that it's just too small. Yeah, we absolutely. want a bigger kitchen, we want somewhere to entertain yeah. everyone. So they want to upgrade to a three-bedroom house and know that now's the time to do it. Their budget is £390,000 and for that they want a big kitchen, a garage and plenty of space to grow. Well, searching on jerseys are first for us and things work differently here. I've got a basic idea of what Katrina and Nick are after, but I also need to get to grips with the vagaries of the system. On the upside, there are huge tax advantages on Jersey, including low stamp duty. On the downside, there are restrictions on who can buy on Jersey. While Phil's off doing some more Bergerac-style investigations, I head to Nick and Katrina's. Ah, the boxes. <laughs> yeah, we're in the midst of packing at the moment. Nick bought this one-bed town flat two years ago for 171 grand, and it was a wise move. Within a week of his flat hitting the market, he accepted a cash offer for 186,000 and pocketed 15 grand to put down on their new place. So what are their new priorities? I absolutely love this kitchen, but it's right. just too small. I want one of those really big ovens, you know, oh, really nice, oh, right? Ovens. Okay. What's his priority? Yours is clearly the kitchen. Um, I think his has got to be a garage. Right. He really wants a garage. So Katrina wants a big kitchen to entertain in. Nick wants a garage for his boys' toys and we need to get them a lot more space. All sounds pretty simple, but as I've been finding out, the Jersey market isn't. Buying property here is complicated. If you don't have millions in the bank, you'll need to qualify as a Jersey resident. Being a local, Nick's got no problem. But as Katrina isn't, she won't be able to put her name on the deeds. So my advice is for them to get a legal contract drawn up. My advice is to get married. Well, first we need to find the right home for them. Even though Jersey hasn't suffered the boom and bust pattern of the mainland, prices are still sky high. So Katrina and Nick's budget's a bit of a challenge. While Phil continues to get to know the lay of the land, I'm showing our house hunters the first appointment in the seaside parish of St Clement. It's a real find in these parts and within budget at 375 grand. As these guys have never bought a house together before, it'll be interesting to see just how well they know each other. 
We're coming to see this little development over here. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic view of the coast, isn't it? It's, beautiful. it's beautiful, yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's a good start. Keen to see inside? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Huh? Great. Yeah, thank you. On paper, this three-bedroom end of terrace ticks a lot of boxes. It comes with a garage for Nick, a decent-sized garden and fantastic views. Now, Katrina really wanted a big kitchen. And although this one's practical and new, there's no hiding the fact that it's not huge. But this could be sweetened by the size of the rest of the house. It's quite a step up from a one-bed flat. Lounge. Lounge diner. Well, in comparison with, with the size of ours, slightly bigger, isn't it? Hey, definitely. Yeah, so absolutely. So, scores points so far. <laughs> Yeah. But one thing, the kitchen's not attached to the dining room. The kitchen is not attached to the dining room. If this house is going to fall down anywhere, it's going to be on the kitchen. Right. Okay. Time to test just how much size matters for Katrina. Mm. Definitely too small. Definitely too small, yeah. Too small. Yeah. Yep. Set it, end of story. Pretty um, much. So the small kitchen looks like the deal breaker. But could the garage save the day? Now, what do you reckon to the size of this? It's actually a really good sized garage. It is. I'm quite impressed. So the answer is that Katrina's toy area is not big enough, but yours is. Yeah. <laughs> but I like her cooking, so I'm going to have to go with um, a bigger <laughs> kitchen. have to compromise on that one. Well, that is handy, because I've come up with something that might be closer to the mark for Katrina, but perhaps not for Nick. It's this lovely traditional granite cottage on the market at 359 grand. So I'm off to meet the guys feeling pretty confident, even though there is a compromise. Just before we go into the house, we'll tackle the outside and the storage and the garage issue, because you see there isn't a garage. There isn't a garage, no. Uh, but there is a small shed here. There are four parking spaces, believe it or not, right. assigned to this house. So perfectly possible to put a bigger shed or even apply for planning permission for a garage. This place is dated in some respects, but the big country-style kitchen has Katrina written all over it. The living room next door is a great space for entertaining and, with all its features, feels homely. Upstairs is cosy and could be perfect for a family. Now, I know you were looking for a big kitchen. It's obviously far bigger than the house Kirsty first showed you, but is it what you were looking for out of a kitchen? I think it is, yeah, but what we would do, we'd uh, rip the kitchen out. Um, have something like a lot lighter, a lot area. It'd be a very simple kitchen to improve because you've got the bare bones of which to do so. I'm a bit disappointed at their reactions. I thought they'd love the size of this one. Obviously, we've still got a lot to learn about our couple, but it feels like they're not singing from the same hymn sheet yet. But I do like it. Yeah. It's got so much character. It's got a lot of character, yeah. I'm a bit... Are you not sure? ...mixed thoughts about it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. There's something about it. Really? Yeah. OK. So now Nick's not happy. So, in conclusion, ladies and gents, is this the house for you? No. 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 <laughs> no. It's extremely no. rustic inside, but a little bit too rustic for us. A bit too rustic. Right, we may have to rethink. We're going to have to find them something spacious, but with more contemporary interiors. Much as suspected, we've struggled to get all their requirements within budget. But we have managed to find something in the picturesque parish of St Martin, and I've got my money on it. Welcome to the next one, an old farmhouse. In fact, an old potato barn, to be truthful. Yeah, it's well, got a lot of character. It's oh, nice. Okay. This house has been newly developed and has a bit of a topsy-turvy layout. Two great bedrooms and a shower room are on the ground floor. And the real draw is on the first floor, a huge open-plan living and kitchen area. And on the top floor is the master bedroom with its own very smart ensuite. Seeing as the kitchen has been a curse up to now, it's best we tackle that first. And if this one doesn't please Katrina, I'm catching the boat back home. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <that a> kitchen view? <laughs> like that. Who wanted a big social yeah, room? Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? At last, we appear to be on the right lines. How much is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's already wants to put a price in already. Go on, Phil. It's 359,000. Really? 
So where, what's like wrong with the rest of it then? <laughs> Nothing wrong. It's, Nothing wrong. It, it, it's got an unusual layout. Right. Two bedrooms down below, two one one above. Huge bedrooms down below. Sounds good. Okay. Hmm. Like the kitchen. Yeah, I think. I'm going to take Nick downstairs to discuss the only downside of this property. Rather you than me, Kirst. That's your garden. Right. Not huge. No, no, but... But nice and contained and very child-friendly. Mm -hmm. On the other side of that will be a carport against the far barn, a shelter for the car and a parking space in front of the house. Right. That's your lot. That might be the compromise, I think. That might be the compromise. I'm glad yeah. you said compromise. Yeah, because, um, well, we've got a huge big kitchen upstairs. Yeah. That, that is absolutely fantastic, entertaining area. Brilliant. What do you think Katrina's thinking? I think she feels the same way. I think, I think it's absolutely stunning. I really love it. Yeah. So it's the best so far? Absolutely, yeah. I'm gobsmacked that Nick's caved in so easily. I wonder what Katrina will think. <laughs> Is there going to be a problem with not having a garage? No, I can, I can compromise on my garage. Really? If, it, if it's got a carport, then mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a major step. Yeah. Seriously? I can't yeah, believe absolutely. you just said that. I, yeah. I really I thought that was going to be so just... much hard work. <laughs> Bingo! We've found them something they both like, and they seem to have come a long way in learning what makes each other tick. But I've just been told about another property that I can't resist showing them and it's sure to test where their hearts really lie. Absolutely outrageous. I feel sorry for the lad. He hasn't got a snowball's chance in hell of not buying this house. This week, we're house hunting in Jersey for forward-thinking Nick and Katrina. This pair won't be caught on the back foot. They've chosen a prime time to sell Nick's one-bed flat maximise their profit and invest in a family home for the future. They have a 390 grand budget, so we've scoured the island, looking at three bedroom houses with the perfect kitchen for Katrina, a garage for Nick and lots of space. It's That's very beautiful. peaceful when there is no It's perfect. lovely. So far we've shown them a new build with a Katrina unfriendly kitchen. Mm. Definitely too small. And a traditional cottage that was um, too traditional. A little bit too rustic for us. But we struck gold with the converted farm buildings. <laughs> like that. They both agreed it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but the show's not over yet. We found another property that could well set the cat amongst the pigeons. It's in the parish of busy St Helier, but it's also off the beaten track. To look at, this place seems completely out of their reach. It's got grandeur, it's got history, and at £450,000, it's some way over their 390 budget. But for Katrina and Nick, this move is for life, and we wouldn't be showing it to them if we didn't think a deal could be done. <laughs> that looks really expensive, that place. <laughs> <laughs> that is so traditional Jersey well through and through, yeah. That looks big bucks. Strangely enough, it's been on the market for two years. You're joking. No. Basically, Which is why we think we can pull it in within your budget. This amazing find dates back to 1678 and has been sitting empty since developers got their hands on it. It is Grade 1 listed, which means any alterations are subject to major restrictions. But with a house like this, I wouldn't change a thing. Wow. Oh my goodness. I like that. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Wait till they see the rest of it. With high ceilings and period features throughout, this house is certainly grand. Plus, it has a kitchen to die for. There's more space here than Katrina and Nick would even know what to do with. He is completely <laughs> silent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's unreal. Could you see yourself living in this tiny Could you see having your mates in this dining room? Yes. I think I'd have to get a whole different class of mates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised at Nick's reaction. Coming from a one-bedroom flat, this is a lot to take on board. But I wouldn't be doing my duty if I didn't point out the pitfalls of buying a listed building. So I'm taking them upstairs to one of the bedrooms. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's unbelievable. This is the room that the, um, the grade one listing really applies to. The panelling has to stay, can't decorate it, can't do anything. This panel 
here has actually been restored from the original back in 1678. It's absolutely um, stunning. Well, the restrictions don't seem to be putting them off. So onwards to Katrina's favourite area. Oh my goodness. Hey. Room for a party in here. Absolutely outrageous. I know. Look at the size of that oven. I know. I dream about ovens like that. The kitchen is amazing. Frankly, so is the whole house. But we need to get down to brass tacks. It was originally on the market at 575,000, but it didn't sell. And it's now on the market at 450,000, and it hasn't sold. And I think that we can get it for the top end of your 390 budget. Really? Yeah. Well, um, I guess it's worth a shot if we... It is. It's, what have you got to lose? Absolutely. If I lived in Jersey, you would not be looking around this house, I'll tell you that, <laughs> for a start. It would be easy to get carried away here, but Kirsty, it is important to remember that a house of this size will come with bigger upkeep and maintenance costs. Oh, don't put a dampener on it yet, Phil. I could see you loving this. You really would, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> I would. So if you and I were a couple, Phil, mm. and we saw this house, mm. would we be buying it? You'd be telling me I was buying it. Is that what's going on upstairs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so not what they set out to find, but it is incredibly impressive. I feel sorry for the lad. He hasn't got a snowball's chance in hell of not buying this house, has he? Hold your horses all sop. This place is great, but it is also a big decision. The last house was the easier option, so I'm not entirely sure that the contract's signed just yet. So? Have we been cruel bringing you here? You've been really, really cruel. It has really thrown me, absolutely thrown me to bits. He looks a worried man. <laughs> a worried man. I don't know whether you've worried him more or she's worried him more, but he looks very scared. Poor Nick's just got to remember that it's still only a three-bedroom house. It's just not one they were expecting. They've now seen the best four houses on the market, and it's a two-house race. So first up, we're back to see the converted farmhouse in St Martin. They loved this place. The quirky, upside-down layout, and even the lack of garage wasn't a problem. Katrina, are you pleased to be back? I am, but I think my heart is somewhere else today. Is your heart lifted coming back here? Um, it has, yeah. It's, uh, I really like this place. I mean, like, you can walk into this and it's, it's uh, and, like, all like, ready to go, basically. It's a safe option. It, it, it is a safe option, yeah. The other place, you know, for me, is still a bit scary. It might be the safer option, but we still need to look at some of the practicalities. For your enjoyment, lads, we are going to do the lying down on the floor trick, OK? <laughs> Come with me. OK. <laughs> Just so that you can have a laugh. Sit down. The fact that this house is empty makes it hard to imagine living here. So there's only one thing for it. Now that is where your bed will come to. <sighs> now do you see how much space you've got for mm -hmm. a cupboard? Loads. Loads. Well, room for us both in there. Anyway. <laughs> that's not too bad. I think a massive bed in there. <laughs> so there's a lot of space. You can do that's starfish, really. boom, yeah. angels. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> no. Whatever else is on Phil's mind, we should be advising these guys as to whether their money would be safe here. You can't add value to it. And you need to recognise that you're paying something of a developer's premium, mm -hmm. but it suits what you're looking for now. I think the question for us to, to really think about today is whether it's going to suit you in three, five years' time. Mm -hmm. Bedrooms are on different levels. If you have children, where are you going to stay? Where are they going to stay? When you come to sell it, if you want to sell it to a family, will it suit them? Mm -hmm. I suspect we could offer advice till the Jersey cows come home but it seems there are still two houses very much in the running. I love this place, I, I, I really do. I don't think it was, we were any, any of us were in doubt that no. you liked it, but Katrina, how about you being back here? I just feel that we've got so much more that we can put into something. Bets? No, no bets, much more. I'm really torn. I've never been torn like this before. Wow. It's a Pandora's box we've opened. This is what they asked us to find. We've shown them something. Maybe we should never have shown them that. And it's a lovely house, there's no denying. But it's not what they actually set out to find. So I it's know, completely But fun. it's there. It's there. Well, we may have confused them and ourselves for that matter. But it's been a really positive second viewing. 
and this, the safer option, is by no means written off yet. But there'll be no decisions made until we've been back to see the one that set their hearts aflutter. <laughs> Look at Katrina's wow. face. Look at your face. <laughs> You're just happy that you've got him back, haven't I you? Just, yeah, I am. I just love it. I'd love it. I've arranged a meeting with a developer to talk about the history of the development, why it hasn't sold, all that sort of thing. So you carry on in. Yesterday it was quite clear that Nick was terrified of this place and who could blame him? It's such a giant step up from a one-bed flat. So it's my job to calm the poor bloke down. The great thing about this house is that, unlike the previous property, the day you move in, you add value. Mm -hmm. Because the reason this house isn't selling is because it's empty and it's scary and it feels unfinished. And people do not know how they would utilise the space. That's what's been scaring yeah, you. It has well. been, yeah. Anyone would be suspicious of buying a house that's been sitting empty for so long. So in my meeting with a developer, I really want to get to the bottom of why it hasn't shifted. We hear it's been on the market a long time. I was hoping you might shed a bit of light on what, what the struggle is to sell it. Because it's a granite listed building, it was a two year project. Mm. Uh, so when we started, the market in these sort of buildings was a lot more buoyant. And like everywhere else, Jersey has suffered from the fact yeah. that uh, economics have changed um, mm -hmm. and the price of these properties have sort of struggled to sell. So no hidden horrors, but unusually for the Jersey market, it's dropped in value. It looks like a case of wrong project, wrong time. It doesn't seem so scary and frightening now. What, in the daylight? In the daylight, yeah. I'm starting to get ideas. Yeah. You've, <laughs> you've taken the edge off it. Yes. It's nice to occasionally see women getting their own way. Nick's beginning to see the light. Maybe so, Kirsty, but the other house is still in the running. So is it going to be the easy option or the slightly more complicated? Either way, these guys will be homeless soon, so they really need to make a decision. I'm really happy here. I, I would love to make this at home, and I want to put an offer in. And I think if it doesn't get exacted, and we ended up going with the other property, then that's a different scenario. We're not supposed to have it. But I would really like to. Do you want to give it a shot? What do you want to do? Yeah, I want to put an offer in this place as well. You do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's just keep our fingers crossed yeah. now. <laughs> Great news, they love it. But now we've got to get it for them within budget. No pressure. This house has been on the market for two years and has already been dropped in price. So we're going to try and drop it again. I talked to the developer particularly about why it hadn't sold and I tried to put him on the spot. I think at the end of the day it buttons down to price. If that was on the market at the right price it would be snapped up. The developer already knows we're interested, so this is all about tactics. And I say we leave it a few days before putting an offer in. Personally, I think as a negotiating tool, it would work. I think it would be good. In our favour. Reduce some expectation. Yeah. Okay. We'll go along with that, I think. So the call goes in and the expectations are lowered. But 24 hours later, and Nick's collie wobbles are back with a vengeance. Great. Bye. I take it that was Katrina. What news? Guess what news? He went with a more conservative option. <laughs> Saw it coming. Yeah. Saw yeah. it coming. And that has held so many fears for him. I can't put my finger on it, but I just can't see me in there. But so. with the coach house, that's the one for me. And only five weeks later, they're in. <laughs> After the big manor house that you uh, yeah. that you fell in love with. But um, yeah, I think we've made the right decision. Yeah.